सुरते बांग दो गाड़ी सेंग एंड सुंदह आर टीम विल बी हंटिंग एट सेंग एंड गुस्तांग ब्लॉक्स Lanka a local guide suggests us to use our spare time in search of a game. Barking deer, locally known as rotwa, according to Lanka's indigenous knowledge, is frequently observed in its niche between the alpine forests and bukki pasture land around here. We were close. But the rough terrain with spiny bushes makes us tired in no time. So we decide to go back to the camp. Besides, it's getting dark and tomorrow starts the big day. Lanka's vigilant eyes easily spot out a barking deer. His local experience claims It is probably the oldest one in the area. Many a Texas orchard. Okay. 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 Sure. Yeah, I, I... Wow. What you mean by that? Oh, 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 oh. Hey, hey. Wow. <laughs> and start some photo shots while the porters start carrying the game to our camp 2009 lage pachi yo hamro nepal wild life safari ko chai yo dosro jeep ho dosro jeep ma pani aste pahile jeep ma lanka believes that this kill of barking deer is a sign of successful blue sheep hunting based on his past experiences Should this be true for us is yet to be seen. We have to walk further up to go to Shang block which extends up to Maikot Rukum. It takes about 5 days trek to Dule which is a base camp for Shang block. This trek is full of challenges and fun. The way passes through the jungle of fir, pine, birch, rhododendron, hemlock, oak, juniper and spruce along with a variety of medicinal plants. This provides home for leopard, goral, Himalayan thar, and wild boars along with some endangered species such as musk deer red panda and dafe the national bird of nepal our other team that will be hunting at gustung block have reached darbang myagdi after 2 hours helicopter ride from kathmandu It takes a 3 day trek to reach the historical village of Gurjagao from Darbang. Gurja community lives its own natural lifestyle full of culture and tradition. Hunters visit this area as it is popular for Himalayan thar. We start our journey further from this beautiful village towards the Bukki rangelands of Kustung, which feeds blue sheep herds during these months. The way passes through the dark remains of recent forest fires. Walking through the steep hilly trail against the powerful wind is impossible without the skills of local helpers and requires frequent short breaks. Our team rests as we enter the Bukki Plateau 
while Pedro, Ruiz and Lanka walk further in search of blue sheep. We have to keep quiet. As we might encounter blue sheep anytime. Ça vous le stop et après tu peux tirer. Là, tu tires dans le tas là. Oui, mais tu tires au-dessus, 50 cm au-dessus. C'est pas grave. C'est trop lourd. Non, 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 il y en a un qui est bon, je crois. Je tire encore beaucoup. Retire. À mettre au-dessus. Oops, he missed it. It might be the end of Pedro's hunting trip. If the blue sheep is hurt, even with a minor injury, Pedro cannot shoot anymore for this trip. It is the regulation of the Department of National Park and Wildlife Conservation. Our team, along with the game scout from Dorpatan Hunting Reserve, walks across the valley to examine if there is any sign of the injury. This time, both the blue sheep and the hunters are lucky. It is the 11th day. Our team is fatigued by the grueling trek and the weather is getting worse. Lanka believes there could be thunderstorms. As we crawl over the steep rocky terrain, it starts to fall snow. Frigid temperature which goes below minus 15 degrees is quite challenging, which will get worse as the night starts to kick in. There it is, screams our local guide and points at a small herd of blue sheep down the hill. Hunters get excited and start to position themselves. However, we soon realize that the herd does not have an old male. Excitement turns into disappointment since it's getting late and we have to reach the camp soon. The home seems to have heavy roof. Today's journey ends with a wish of tomorrow's good weather and a hope to encounter and pursue a blue sheep tomorrow. We are blessed by a delightful dawn and a clear sky. The beautiful range is under the enchanting snowflakes. Hunters and helpers start their necessary preparation as the morning sun melts snow out of our way. We continue our journey through a tiny trail full of boulders and ice. Local guide suggests us to be very careful as a simple mistake can cost the life of a man. The herd is marching for warm morning sun from their overnight stay. They prefer to walk on the edges as it provides wider vision. These animals live in their group over these alpine mountains. 
The male guides the miners through grazing and the female watches the predators. As males grow older, they tend to separate from their herd and live a loner life and these males are the best targets of trophy hunters since the older males have bigger trophies. According to the local guide, we are probably 18 kilometers apart, so he suggests us to seek another herd. It's midday. And our team is getting hungry and tired. The escalating altitude is making it worse. Particularly, Itman and our local friend KB, who had a minor altitude sickness last night. Dry bread and water for lunch at this cold and windy mountain region was perhaps not a pleasing experience. Obviously, it's not rational to expect lavish food in this deserted mountain. But the beauty around Pupal Lake seasons our feast and keeps our spirit alive. Renault signals heard a blue sheep. Michel and the cameraman Gorak crawl carefully towards the herd as a minor mistake can easily entreat these sensitive animals to flee away. Blue sheep can smell its threat up to five kilometers. We are lucky that the wind direction is in our favor. There was no kill, but Lanka believes that there is an injury. We found the evidence of blue sheep being hurt. Michel missed his chance of winning the trophy for this year. He will probably retry it in coming years. Respire bien. Pardon. Tu respires bien. J'arrête pas. Ça sert à rien. Aura des cachets. Hunters are nervous as our permit expires today. Avec Patrick, on va savoir remonter doucement. Ça nous donnera un but. Puis après, il sera. Il y aura des ailes. Renaud, Robert, and Ekman rush uphill. Luckily, there are two big males on this herd. Itman takes no time, but it goes in vain. The frustrated hunter can do nothing but watch the fleeing herd. He neigeait fort, and then he started to get late. After the time we were coming. That's it. Okay. We have hardly two hours to yes, make the kill for this trip, yeah. and we just missed a shot. Yeah. Hopeless team still doesn't give up. After we cross a couple of hills, hunters see the last hope. There is no room for mistake this time. Robert takes his time, prays to the god, and fires his 22 calibers rifle. Tu as pas tiré le bon. Hein? Tu as pas tiré le bon. 
Et tu m'as dit... Ah, non Après, je te dis, c'était celui-là. Ah, c'est ouais. pas grave, rien. Mais bah, Dieu, il était bien placé. Écoute, ça, tu... Il est bon. Finally, the beast is down and joy explodes. C'est un petit peu, hein Ouais. Oh, J'ai pas tiré le plus petit, Renaud, oh t'inquiète pas. <rire> non, non, il est bien, il est bien. Hein, qu'est-ce que t'en penses Il est bien, il y en a un qui était plus massif, mais c'est pas grave. Pas tiré toujours le plus gros. Et coup, j'ai tiré ah. celui que j'ai vu. Bravo. Bravo. Bien, viens là. Tête avec. Tu tiens là. Skinning follows a careful incision, followed by salt treatment. So yeah, you we are like salting because the salt takes out the water, and after there is no putrefaction. Mm -hmm. no, you can keep it after a long time. Long you time. dry it, the salt dry it, take out the water, and mm -hmm. after you can travel where you want. The head cleaning follows a series of chemical treatments that include peroxide treatment, sodium fluorosilicate treatment and bleaching with frequent rinsing. When ready, the trophy is measured using a steel tape in centimeters in decibel place for the record and kept in a cool, dry and well ventilated place. Over the Gustung block, our team is about to lose its hope after four hours of grueling walk uphill. Raja tries to save his guest but he seems to be in trouble himself. <laughs> The rough terrain and high altitude around 5,600 meters is boiling down the strength and spirit of our team, especially Pedro from Spain. Because we saw the sheep and they were running, they were not scared, they were... However, the journey continues as we are running out of time. We decide to take lunch break But Lanka continues the search. Before the team even managed to stretch their tired bodies, Lanka runs back to us. There's a huge herd just on the other side of the hill. Pedro tries his best to find his hiding place over the open hill. 